inside Burma, um, since the internet is uh, allowed to use in the late 2000, um, I, I think uh, in, information flow has been a lot easier than before. Um, in, in a big city like Mandalay, Rangoon, and other, uh, you know, other uh, cities, they, they could send us information. There were, there were several blockers in around 2002, 2003. One particular um, guy is now in jail uh, for having uh, very good bloggers where thousands of young people visit. But it was in Burmese. Um, yes, the, the Burmese regime is very concerned about the bloggers. So now there are some bloggers and I've seen them in, in, in every blog people trying to express um, um, what, what's happening. At the same time, the Burmese regime is using another tactic that they, they use their own people to attack those who are writing uh, about the situations in a particular community. So, or if, um, if someone talks about the Aung San Suu Kyi and the other guy will attack them for talking about the Aung San Suu Kyi. So, uh, within the blockers, writers, uh, SBDC has got their people to attack those who, who tell the truth. Um, but um, a, larger, a larger part of Burma um, are not, um, sorry, a larger part of Burma do not uh, have internet access yet. But in, uh, wherever this internet section, uh, um, there, wherever this internet as, um, access, uh, information flow is a lot easier and faster than before. But in terms of the mobile phone, um, the, the, the cost is so expensive at the moment for ordinary, so ordinary people cannot afford to buy it. Uh, or the security involved, um, for example, um, the telephone now, the mobile phone that they're using, um, they can text message each other within the country, but they cannot receive text messages from outside, which is deliberately done um, because they, they regime is worried that we will send a uh, message to the, the people inside Burma. We use uh, multiple uh, ways of getting information um, from collecting that uh, data. What we do is um, sometimes we use mp3 recorder, sometimes uh, photo camera, sometimes video camera, or in a, in a remote place like um, um, Chin State, we use um, a cigarette court so the people write something and they send us to, to the border uh, office. Um, so there are different ways. And the way that we send the information in is through radio programs like um, uh, Radio Free Asia, Voice of America, BBC Burmese Service, Democratic Voice, the Voice of Burma. So we, uh, any, any message that we want to do, convey to the people in Burma, we, we speak through radio, and which is very effective. Um, or we train people, we collect, we collect people, a certain people, and uh, train them into, in, along the border on t uh, particular issues, and they went back and they shared the information with their communities.